my family were obviously all born in Bosnia. My dad was from Trebinje. My dad was a professional footballer. I was at every training session, and when I could out of school at every game, I used to clean his boots and make sure they were polished for his games. We had a good time here. All my family was nearby, and then obviously one day, as things uh, happened, things tore us, everyone apart. Obviously, the country's been through so much turmoil. I don't think there's a story out there that can compare to what the war did to the country and um, how it decimated it was, it was incredible. We basically packed up all the things and put it in the car and, and off we went. We had some family in Germany. We thought Germany was the best place to go for us and that's where we spent the next six years of our lives there. At the age of 10, we made a decision to go to Canada. We received Canadian citizenship. We lived there. I made friends there. I was in school there. And I was called up for the national team and I played for them. The first time I ever came back to Bosnia since we left from, from the war was for my grandfather's funeral. That was the first time again I really reconnected with all my family, a lot of my cousins. Well, here we have my grandma. She's from Trebinje, the same place where I was from. But um, after the war, her and my granddad, they came back to Sarajevo and decided to, to live here. I saw what it would mean to have my family watch me at games for Bosnia. You know, everyone's really proud of the fact that I decided to represent my home country and. Me playing in a good environment in England, I think it was time for them to call me up and they, um, they finally received the call and now the rest was history. The Boston national team is unique in the world. You see from our starting 11, only one player grew up in Bosnia and it's Edin Dzeko. All 10 others, some of them was born outside of Bosnia and others fled from Bosnia when they were kids. A few of our jerseys on sale there, so if you want to buy one of my jerseys, just that's where you want to go. When they decide to play for their homeland, for Bosnia, every player who decide that is a hero. Because there was other, other cases, you know, like, I don't know, Zlatan Ibrahimović, players who was born in Bosnia, but they play for the other countries. And they are here treated as a traitors. Yeah, that's the exact word, traitors. Others, like Begovic, did not forget where they come from, that they are Bosnians, and they should, you know, play for Bosnia. This is our first ever World Cup and the uh, mood, it's one word, you, euphoric. And this is the, probably the best thing, thing that ever happened to this country. The country's been excited since the day we qualified, so it's, um, the mood's been great. I mean, the support I received from the local people is fantastic. Bosnia hadn't, didn't have so much luck in the past and the Bosnian people suffer a lot. The national team have succeeded in something which politicians never got near, to unify the country, unify the people. We know we're in for three difficult games, starting with Argentina. We know what's the dream of ours, to be able to play such a big team with American Eye is going to be fantastic. You get goosebumps thinking about those kind of things. I mean, that's what you dream of as a kid, uh, you work so hard for your whole career to be able to live those kind of moments and play in those kind of games.